Peter Koek van Aelst, Sesmer et Fakens de Fer de Turks, 16th century Macon Verhulst, also known as Marie Bessemers, was a 16th century miniature. Tempera and watercolor painter, identified by Lodovico Guicciardini in 1567 as one of the four most important female artists in the Low Countries. She was actively engaged in the workshop of her husband, Peter Koek van Aelst, posthumously publishing his works. While she is recognized as an exceptionally skilled artist, little is known about her works or life as there are few surviving attributable sources of information. Macon Verhulst was born in Mechelen in 1518. She was the second wife of the painter Peter Koek van Aelst, and the mother-in-law of Peter Bruegel the Elder, and, according to Carl van Mander, the first teacher of her grandsons Peter Bruegel the Younger and Jan Bruegel the Elder. Her sister Lisbeth was married to the engraver and painter Hubert Galtzius, and her sister Barbara was married to the painter Jacob de Punder. According to Slater, she died in Brussels in 1596, approximately 80 years old. But most authority notices state that she died in Moline in 1599. Following Peter Coeck's death in 1550, she likely oversaw the publication of a large woodcut series Ses Muret Fakens de Fer de Turks. This print was originally designed by Van Aelst as a tapestry design, strategically published by Verhulst as a print after his death to showcase his work. Additionally, she waited until about 20 years following her husband's death to publicize his legacy, argued by Deforia as an intentional decision meant to honor Charles V. A great admirer of Turkish culture, as he withdrew from public service in 1555. Thus, Verhulst displayed great agency through her strategy, independence, and creativity. No works survive that can be securely attributed to Verhulst, although she is frequently identified as the person behind several works assigned to the master of the Brunswick monogram. Verhulst may also have been the author of a painting in the Kunsthaus Zurich with a self-portrait with her husband. While little is definitively known about her life and works, Guicciardini's Discritione places her alongside Susanna Hornbaut, Lavina Tierlink, and Katerina van Hemessen, suggesting her remarkable talents. Verhulst was the first teacher of her grandsons, Peter Bruegel the Younger and Jan Bruegel the Elder, both of which are prolific Northern Renaissance master painters. Ironically, her close relation to such prominent artists has muted her long-lasting effect on art history, as she is most often mentioned within discussions of their heritage as opposed to her accomplishments. Published by Macon Verhulst, her husband's composition Ses Muret Fakens de Fer de Turks now resides at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, evidencing her significant impact on Northern Renaissance printmaking. Her house and former painter's workshop, Tivliag and Peart is a historic monument in Mechelen. It is a museum named Hetzot Kunstkabinet. Zurich's Kunsthaus house is the only possible surviving portrait of Verhulst. Thanks for watching.